YouTube, I am NintendoMan64, bringing you the next episode of Mario Kart DS. In the last episode, we explored the last of the cups, the Lightning Cup as Toad, and it didn't really go our way. It's been a long time since I've recorded Mario Kart. Since then, there have been drastic changes. As you can see, the layout's a lot more different. As you can see, now we have a big screen and a little screen. Want to know why? Because I am awesome, and I put in the money to get this game as a virtual console release on my Wii U. So I am playing this game now on the Wii U with my uh, gamepad. Uh, a lot of more, a lot more games than I thought would be available are available, and obviously there's more to come until the next uh, Nintendo system comes out. But who knows when that is. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be covering battles. Now, there are two modes of battle here. There's Balloon Battle and Shine Runners. You, can re you really can't go wrong with either one. We're going to be going over both of them, obviously. But in this one, we're going to go over Balloon Battles. Obviously, the same kinds of battles that have been a in almost all Mario Party games. Basically, burst your opponent's balloons with items. But in this game, you get to blow into the mic to inflate your balloons. Or you can press and hold the select button, which is what I'm going to be doing. Honestly, because I don't want to damage the mic on my, uh, on my, uh, gamepad. And I'm going to be Yoshi here, mostly because, you know, I don't really have a reason not to be Yoshi, because Yoshi is awesome. Um, I'm going to do just, uh, I'll do free battle. I'm going to do some free battles, and we're going to go, and we're going to have, we're going to have some fun with this. I need some fun, guys. It's been a very rough couple of weeks for me. With Elgato not working, with me having to bring up so many projects that I had not planned, and with Hop Hog only recording off the Wii U, yeah, it's been a rough week. Actually, rough couple of weeks, really. Dating back to Yoshi's story. But as you can see here, we have six courses, four new ones, and two classic ones. Um, I think we're going to start on the DS. Mostly because it's a... It's, uh, well, it's a fun one, really. And, um, it's sort of like just flat out even. I mean, obviously you have to go up on the drive up on the DS in order to access it, but, you know. Anyways, you can see there, there are four balloons on the top. Uh, if you get, if you're down to one balloon and you get knocked out, you're out. However, you can press and hold the select button and you can keep bringing balloons back to you. The, if you get hit, you can blow a balloon back. However, if all the balloons on top of there vanish... You're eliminated. So you gotta be very careful with that. Ooh, that was close. Thought I'd get somebody. There you go, that's much better. Now, I'm not that subtle at hiding it. At least I don't think I am. Um, this is post-op recording. Mostly because Hop Hogs had a lot of problems recording-wise. And I really just need to, uh, I'd, you know what, I'd, I'd just rather go through this and enjoy what, enjoy what I'm doing, playing it, and then I'll give some post-op commentary on it. I mean, obviously it's not as fun as having reactions, but, hey, you know what, sometimes I could think of a good joke or something, I could tell you guys. Or I could have a reaction to something that I've never, that I've never seen before, or I forgot. Um... But yeah, this is going to be for all Wii U pro projects. I'm going to do the best that I can to hide it, but there's obviously going to be some ways where I just can't. Like, obviously, they're ignoring the last two times I've been hit. Now, you don't really have to inflate your balloons, because if you hold, on, hold yourself to one balloon... Um... You can actually do a lot of devastating things here if you're good at this game. I mean, uh, I mean, you real when you really think about it, at least, because I mean, with, with the less balloons you have, the more likely you obviously get good items. You can keep getting stars. You can get mushrooms, which allow you to steal, uh, which allow you to uh, steal balloons from opponents. Yeah, it's a very uh, complex game in those regards. And down goes the fat man. Awesome. Nice shot. That's weird, because I'm looking at it from the, uh, 
angle with which I can't see anything. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to expand it so I can see a bit more. There you go. That's much better. Now, you guys don't know what I'm doing. What I did was, in Movie Maker, I expanded the side so I could see the screen a lot easier. I'm not slouched back. I'm actually... I'm actually laid back in front of the monitor so I can see. But I'm not that far behind, obviously. I'm, I'm trying to see what's going on. And people are starting to drop like flies. The red shells, to me, are the best items to get in this game. They really are. Because... And not, not just a red shell, I mean the three set of red shells. I think those are the best, especially if you ask me. Ah, oh, damn it, who stole my ticket? Ah, oh, Peach, you bitch! Fine. At least I got a star, that's what matters. Ooh, and blooper. And down goes Peach! Alright. Oh, Luigi. I ain't gonna lose to you, Luigi! Good shot. Alright, and goodbye. It's over. One win for the dino! So I figured we'd do three up uh three uh I figured we'd do three levels this time because balloon battles could actually take a while. Shine Runners actually runs a lot quicker, so so yeah, you may want to rely more on balloon battles. So balloon battles will probably take about 15-20 minute episodes. 15 to 20 minute episode, sorry. And uh, Shine Runners, I may actually end up being able to do 5 or 6 for each. So, yeah, this is Twilight House. This was also in the Mario Kart Wii as one of the battle stages in that game. Something weird I noticed about Mario Kart 8, the fact that you, uh, is the fact that the battle stages are actually cor uh, kart courses. Like, you can go to Yoshi's Valley and battle. It's not like it's like a battle based off of Yoshi's Valley. It's oh, you rap bastard toad. Anyway, it's uh, uh, it's it's the whole course. Like you drive around the whole course trying to shoot people with items. Ow, you fuck, Wario! I'm gonna eat your children. Stupid jackass. Oh my god, I got so much recording to do today. Especially after the botch. Okay, guys, I spent two hours today recording Lion King, trying to bang it out in one shot. Turns out, the emulator I use decided not to broadcast any video. So it recorded all of the audio, but you got a big black screen there. Now, I could project audio onto it. But that would seriously be more damaging than it would be helpful. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that one. As it turns out, most of the, uh, most of the emulators that, I, that are out there really don't run very well. Least of all the, uh, the, uh, the one I had where I recorded Aladdin and Mario World. Because apparently that one really doesn't want to work with Lion King. I mean, I was playing, I was playing Lion King on that first, and what happened was, it ran the first, like, the first menu very well, and then it's just, it wouldn't read the music for the first level, it wouldn't read the music for the second level, and then it would read it, but then it would only play out of one, uh, speaker, so yeah, it was just, it was a nightmare. So I'm thinking about moving uh, Lion King to the Sega Genesis version, mostly because I, I, I just don't have the patience to sit around for the SNES one to work. So uh, they're not that different, the Sega and the uh, <coughs> the Sega version and the uh, SNES version. The only difference is the SNES version has better music because I think the SNES had more processing power where it could get better music. I mean, obviously, music from uh, Super Mario World is better sounding than Sonic the Hedgehogs. And not just better sounding because, oh, well, I like uh, Super Mario World's theme more than I like Sonic the Hedgehog's theme. No, it's be it just sounds better. Like, it doesn't sound like it's just a... Uh, 
Doesn't sound like it's just a, uh, oh, jeez. I am, like, reckless with this thing. Uh, um. Yeah, but it's, it's the only, and a couple of sounds. Like, it's sort of like the example of when, uh. It's sort of like the example of, uh. What would it be? Like, like the Aladdin games. Like, the Sega game versus the SNES game. The SNES game has more Disney-fied sounds. Like, I believe the grunts in the game are Scott Weinger's grunts, but obviously the, uh, the Sega version has better, uh, the Sega version has most more of the songs. Like, it has, uh, Prince Ali, it has, uh, a whole new world, one jump ahead. It's not just friend like me in a whole new world, which is what the SNES one has, and the rest is all original. And did Wario seriously just Wario, what the hell, dude? I don't want to win like that. That's not fun. It's not fun at all, dude. But I'm really thinking about moving into the Sega version, and I mean, it's not fun, but hey, what you gonna do? Sometimes you just don't have a choice. Just like I don't have a choice to go to Block Fort here, because Block Fort is, I believe, the best battle course they've made so far in any Mario Kart game. It's it, it's the most beloved, I know that. I mean, whenever we used to play Mario Kart, this would always be the course we would play on. Obviously not in the DS one, but, uh, but in the, uh... Ow! But in the, uh... Oh, the S uh, yeah, wow, the SNES one, no. Ma <coughs> Mario Kart 64, and oh my god, I'm running through water. My throat's getting really dry. Well, it wouldn't be getting dry if I didn't have to do almost that frickin' Lion King recording and realizing it failed. It would've been worth it if it had succeeded, but it did not. I hope to be able to rectify this problem with Hop Hog ASAP, because if I can't, I'm gonna be back to just emulators until I can get another Elgato, or I'm... Or I'm gonna ask Panda when he's in school if I could borrow his to work with because I gotta be honest, guys, this is it's kind of tedious to have to record and then to record the gameplay and then record your commentary separately. It's 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 not fun. It's not fun at all. But all these red shells I'm getting now—that's fun. That's uber fun. Ooh, ooh, that was close. That would have been awesome. I thought I got that too. That would have been an awesome trick shot. Uh, okay. Um, anything else really to go over? I really don't have anything else to go over. Um, well, I do have to go over the fact that Mario Kart DS is, as you guys know, is replacing Mario Party 2, and it is going to be a full-time Let's Play again until it ends. Now, when is it going to end? I'm not sure. I'm I'm willing to bet if I... Ow. I'm willing to bet if I counted properly. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell was I... What the hell was I smoking? Anyway. Um... Uh... <clears throat> if I counted correctly... There you go. I'm back to where I was. Um, there should be, including this episode, 13 more episodes of Mario Kart DS. That'll get me through to the middle or end of July, and then I'm going to have to think of something else. Hold on, wait, let me think. This is start. This is going to air June 8th, and then the next one will air June 11th, then June... 14th? No, the June 15th. Then June 18th. So yeah, it's gonna be... So we're gonna have... So it's gonna get us basically through to the middle of July. So then I'm gonna have to think of another Let's Play to do. I do have some things in mind. The thing is, with Disney's Think Fast, I just don't want to, like, cut off anything major. Like, I know Mario Party, I'm you, you guys are used to it, but Disney Think Fest is like an actual game show thing, so 
It, I'd rather not cut that if I have the potential to. That's what I'm thinking actually about doing uh, Mario Kart DS. I'm actually really thinking about doing that. That would be fun. Mario Kart DS. Mario Party DS. That would be fun. I've never played that game before, so it would be very interesting to play a Mario Party game I've never played before. Mostly because I figured, eh, it's just a generic Mario Party game. I don't really need to... No, Norton, I don't need you doing background tasks. Especially when that means you're going to shut off my screen. Just because I don't move does not mean nothing's going on with the computer, jackass. Alright. Uh, oh, God. The hell was I... Th oh, my God! What a fucking trick shot! Holy shit! Dude, we need to see some instant replay of that shit! Holy crap, that was awesome! What the... F! That was incredible! Alright. Getting a little technical here. I'm getting a strat trying to strategize. But man, that trick shot, that was incredible! I should pat myself on the back for that one. Ow! Too bad I have sunburn on my back. Dry bones, you suicidal bastard! Jeez. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nice try, though. I'm not gonna run into a friggin' banana and lose this, am I? I hope not. Alright. I'd rather... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! No! Damn it. Oh, well. Shit happens. Can't win them all. But that's okay with me. I'm fine with that. I'm not no sore loser. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'm Nintendo Man 64. Join me next time where we take on some Shine Runners battles. Until then, Saya freaking Nara. <laughs>